Dangerous bacteria resistant to antibiotics showed up in a vast majority of pork tested by Consumer Reports. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance is here now with disturbing results of these tests. Kristen? Yeah, Consumer Reports tested hundreds of pork samples. Now what they found and those results may really change what you put on your dinner table. Pork is a staple in many American diets, but Consumer Reports lab tests of nearly 200 samples of pork chops and ground pork found cause for concern. More than two thirds were contaminated with a bacterium called Yersinia enterocolitica. This bug can cause fever and abdominal pain, and even more troubling, the vast majority of the Yersinia bacteria that we found were resistant to one or more commonly used antibiotics. Consumer Reports also found a few pork samples were contaminated with other bacteria that can also be harmful, including Salmonella and Staphylococcus. And again, some of the bacteria were resistant to certain antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance is worrisome because it can lead to infections in humans that are more difficult to treat. On hog farms, healthy pigs are commonly given low doses of antibiotics to prevent infections and promote growth. That can accelerate the development of drug-resistant bacteria. A second Consumer Reports test of 240 pork samples found about 20% had traces of the drug ractopamine that's used in pigs to promote growth and make meat lean. A major pork producer, Smithfield, says ractopamine is a safe and effective Food and Drug Administration approved feed supplement that has been widely used in hog farming for many years. The levels we found were well below the limit set by the FDA. But Consumers Union believes that it should be banned because there isn't enough evidence that it's safe for humans. So Consumer Reports recommends buying pork raised without antibiotics and ractopamine. And it's important to cook pork thoroughly to kill any possible bacteria. Now, Consumer Reports says look for meat labeled certified organic, or you can buy from Whole Foods or other grocery stores where their producers do not use antibiotics or growth hormones. I also want to tell you ABC News medical editor Dr. Richard Besser will have more ways to protect your family from bad pork. That's tonight on World News at 10 uh, after at 6 o'clock rather. Sorry.